Hey folks, uh, this is slope and perpendicular lines. This is Integrated Math 3, Module 2.2. So how can we use a slope to solve problems involving perpendicular lines? So slope and perpendicular lines. Remember, perpendicular is an upside down capital T, okay? So two lines are perpendicular if and only if they're in the same plane. They have to be in the same plane. It's often forgotten, and the, and the and the product of their slopes is negative one, or uh, they're opposite reciprocals of each other. So if they're perpendicular, then one's positive, one's negative, and they're reciprocals of each other. Here's some examples. Easy. So one's positive, one's negative, and they're reciprocals of each other. One's positive, one's negative, they're reciprocals of each other. Okay. One over one, one over negative one, or negative one over one. So one's positive, one's negative. And if you have a, a horizontal line, that's a slope of zero. Uh, it's going to be perpendicular with a vertical line. A vertical line is no slope. Okay. All right. So. Um, horizontals and verticals. Okay, so uh, perpendicular lines always form right angles. So here's section A, here's section B. Right angles are formed by perpendicular lines. Okay, there goes my airplane, which is my air conditioner going on. I'm at the end of July. It's a hot day. All right, so show that uh, A, B, C, D is a rectangle. Well, rectangles means that there's four right angles, so we need to show that there's right angles right there. So let's go ahead and find the slope. Okay, so the slope of A, B. So I'm going to use rise over run. So up one, two, three, over one, two, three, four, five, six. Up three over six is one half. B, C. So it goes down 2 over 1. So negative 2 over 1 is negative 2. C, D. Okay, now you see how these guys are opposite reciprocals of each other. So they're right angles right there. C, D. Okay, uh, C, D. So we got to start at the left point. Always start at the left point. So up uh, 1, 2, 3 over 6. So up 3 over 6 is 1 half. Okay, oops, I went uh, down 3 over 6. That's fine. Just make sure you, you whichever direction you go, that um, uh, you follow the signs. Anyways, DA. So DA goes uh, up 2 to the left 1. So uh, 2 over negative 1 is uh, negative 2. Okay, so those guys are opposite reciprocals of each other. So they make four right angles, so it's a it's a rectangle. Okay, show that this is a trapezoid that has two right angles. Okay, well obviously, hopefully, these are my right angles, so we're going to show that this slope is perpendicular to this slope, and similarly, this slope is perpendicular to this slope. And we'll find out that these two guys are equal, so these are parallel, and these will make some right angles because of opposite reciprocals okay so if we just do the same thing a rise over run rise over run rise over run and we get um, uh, we get uh, uh, these two guys are equal to each other so they're parallel so the slope of this line is negative one-third so is that and the slope of this line is uh, positive three up three over one or, or down 3 to the left 1. Anyways, the slope is 3. So, so uh, perpendicular, perpendicular, and these guys are parallel. So it's a trapezoid because they only have one pair of parallel sides. Okay, so a city block forms a quad with the following equations. Classify the name of the quad. Okay, so, so you can graph these. Um, in fact, I'll show you a graph of them later, but it's just easier just to get the slope. So here's uh, from uh, the last lesson, slope formula. So so if they give you the equation, y equals mx plus b, we're gonna, then there's the slope. If they give you uh, ax plus by equals c, or by plus ax equals c, the slope is opposite the number in front of a over b. And if y equals a number, the slope is zero. If x equals a number, the slope is um, uh, undefined, and they're congruent to each other. I'm sorry, they're um, uh, perpendicular to each other. Okay, so the slope of this guy is opposite negative 1 over 2. So I get 1 half on that guy. Okay, you with me? Okay, so the slope of that one is 1 half. The slope of this guy is opposite 2 over 1, so it's negative 2. Okay, these guys are perpendicular. Okay, let's, let's divide both sides by 2 here. When we divide both sides by 2, 
this divided by 2, this divided by 2, I get this equation, so the slope is 1 half, so, so I can see that chestnut and pine are, are parallel to each other, and similarly, let's go minus 8, minus 8, and y equals mx plus b, we get uh, the slope of this one is negative 2, so it uh, looks like it's going to be a rectangle right there, since the products of the slopes are negative 1, has four right angles so it's a rectangle and and you don't have to do that but there's the graph of those guys okay all right how about this guy right here I'm not gonna graph these guys okay so here we go I'm gonna go ahead and solve for y and I get uh, the slope of this line is is one-third okay and then um, uh, the slope of this one when we subtract uh, or we can go opposite a over b is going to subtract 2x but the slope is negative 2 here divide by 3 we get the slope is uh, 1 third again and then uh, uh, the slope of that guy is going to be negative 2 so what's that so again um, uh, these guys are parallel these guys are parallel but they're not right angles so it's going to be a parallelogram right there okay I do not have that one graphed. Okay, so classify as always, sometimes or never true. The diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular. Well, I've taught geometry for 30 years. I absolutely know that here's a rhombus right here. So just draw. If you can't figure uh, if this is always, sometimes or never true, draw a picture. Here's a rhombus. All four sides are equal. Is that a right angle? Sure looks like to me. I'm going to say always true. There's a theorem. On geometry, this says uh, diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular. How about this one? Diagonals of a rectangle are perpendicular. Well, here, here's two different rectangles. Here's a square. That looks like a right angle. Does this look like a right angle? No way. So always, sometimes, or never, sometimes, sometimes because of this guy right here. Okay. How about this one? The diagonals of a trapezoid bisect each other. Well, if it's a parallelogram, they bisect each other, but not a trapezoid, so never. If they did, it would have to be a parallelogram right there. Okay, so the perimeter of parallelogram math is 96. Find the length of each side of perimeter of, of parallelogram math under the these conditions. Okay, so MA is, can, is equal to AT. Okay, so MA equals AT. That means that uh, this side would equal this side. Well, I know this side equals this side. I know this side equals this side because it's a parallelogram. So that means it has to be a rhombus, you guys. So if all four sides are equal, then uh, we just take 96 and divide it by 4. And then, uh, so then we find that the each side is going to be uh, 24 to get us 96 right there. Okay, how about this? This time AT is equal to 3 times TH. Okay, so I'm going to let this be X, and this will have to be, um, uh, I'm sorry, this one's X because this is the smaller one, and this one would have to be 3 times that. So, so if, we, if we went ahead and solved for that, the perimeter is 96, remember, so we get X equals 12. Okay, now it says uh, find the lengths of the side. So we've got to find uh, TH is equal to MA, which equals 12. And then AT equals HM, which is going to be 3 times 12, which is going to be that uh, 36 right there. All right, you guys, if you are in my class, that's going to be your, your assignment. Take care.